What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So today is a very special day today, um, as you can tell by the title, I am two years locked today and I'm not even going to stall any longer, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my hair because I know this is what you guys really want to see. I've been kind of, you know, not doing that in my videos because I've been saving, you know, you guys really seeing my hair like for real for real for this video specifically so yeah without further ado let's just get started Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed that view of my hair. I know it's been a minute. The most major thing that has changed with my hair, as y'all probably saw through little clips, through little montage, um, maybe did or didn't, but this lock right here, well, this twist, as of a right now, is just a twist because I combined it. Um, yeah, I had to combine it because it was getting very thin. It was just the one that was just like right here. I always showed it in my videos. But um, it was getting really thin, so I just had to go ahead and, um, you know, I just had to go ahead and twist it up. So this is what we're looking like right now. It's been twisted up for like, I wanna say a week, a week and a half maybe. Um, it's not even like, you know, locking up fast at all. You know, I didn't expect it to. It um, unraveled a little bit at the tip today because I did take the rubber band off because I thought it would be good, but it's not ready yet at all. And I think it's just because I had it up in a bun, you know, when I got in the shower and I got out, I saw that it was unraveled a little bit. So, yeah, that's that. So, whenever you have a thin lock or you see a lock that's thinning, especially at the root, you most definitely just want to, you know, go ahead and um, combine that and make it a stronger lock so you don't, you know, you know so it doesn't start breaking off if it were to break off i would have cried and probably cut the rest of my hair off i'm just kidding i'm, I'm just kidding we're gonna go ahead and do a length check for you guys i can't remember what it was the last time i did this video but it wasn't as long as it is now without me even tugging at it so let me go ahead and show y'all so this is the front and we're a little bit under the chin like right there and so um, it's pretty much gonna be the same length. It's a little bit longer. We are right here. You know, when I pull it, we're right here. I show it to the shoulder area. It's like right here. And then in the back, it's like right here. in the top it's this is my thickest one it's right there I can get closer just like that long but yeah guys I'm so excited to be two years locked it's like crazy to me and I'm ready to be three years locked and just keep going and just keep going and keep going because this is a really exciting journey for me um that I don't even notice it's just become a part of my life. It's not like I check on everything every single day. So I guess another thing I can talk about is no build up. I have no build up whatsoever. Got rid of that with the apple cider vinegar rinse. So make sure you guys do that and just keep when you wash your hair, just make sure you scrub. One thing I did learn throughout this journey is that you need to unravel your retwist before you wash your hair, like before you wash your retwist out. And it's very helpful. You guys, please pay attention. If you don't if you don't get anything from this video, which you probably won't, because there's nothing to get, just know that you need to unravel your retwist. That's key to your lock journey. If you're retwisting, it's key to unravel your retwist before you wash out your hair completely. Because if you don't, it's gonna seep the re the gels or oils, whatever you use, will seep into your lock and you'll have buildup. And that's not a good thing that you wanna have. Trust me. I was gonna dye my hair like a little like a little blondish at the tips, but my tips are already a different color, so I'm not sure how that will look. I think it'll be like burnt orange or something. And that's not what I want, so I think I'm just gonna stick with this little ombreish color. 
that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. I'm just glad to be two years locked, and I thank you guys for all your support, and I hope you enjoyed this very, very short video. Just wanted to show you guys my locks and update you on some major things that's been going on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you're on your lock journey and you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you have any comments, you know, things you want to say about your log journey that could definitely help anybody out, please comment them down below as well. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Mike's Wendy, and it's right there. Just go ahead and follow me. I post amazing high quality pictures, in my opinion, you know, so you should follow me. Yeah, make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe because it really helps my channel. We're almost to 600 and I really want to be to 600 by the buddy in months, you know what I'm saying. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and peace.